Welcome to a practice SAT math question. Here we're given x squared minus y squared equals 48 and asked to evaluate two-thirds times the quantity x plus y times the quantity x minus y. There's a couple of ways to approach this question, but I think the fastest way is to recognize that we can factor the left side of this given equation as a difference of squares, meaning if x squared minus y squared equals 48, we can factor the left side into a product of two binomial factors that are still equal to 48, where the first terms in the binomial factors come from the factors of x squared, which are x and x, and the second terms in the binomial factors come from the factors of y squared, which are y and y, where one binomial is a sum and one binomial is a difference. Notice how these two factors are in this expression here, which means we can substitute 48 for these two factors in this expression. So if we have two-thirds times the quantity x plus y times the quantity x minus y, and we just saw that these two factors are equal to 48, this becomes two-thirds times 48, or 48 over one, Notice in this form we can simplify. Three and forty-eight have a common factor of three. There's one three and three and sixteen threes and forty-eight. And since our denominator is one, this product is just two times sixteen or thirty-two. Which means our answer is D thirty-two. But let's also discuss another way to solve this problem. If we don't remember how to factor, we could find the product of these two binomials and then perform a substitution using the given equation. So as an alternative, we could start with two-thirds times the quantity x plus y times the quantity x minus y, and then find this product where we'd have four products, one, two, three, and four. So we'd have two-thirds times x times x, that's x squared, x times negative y, that's minus xy, and then y times x is plus or a positive xy, and then minus y squared. So notice how the two middle terms are opposites, so this sums to zero. So now we have two-thirds times the quantity x squared minus y squared. In this form, in this form we should recognize, looking at the given equation, since x squared minus y squared equals 48, we can replace this difference here with 48 to get the same result. Notice how this would be two-thirds times 48 again, or 48 over one, which we saw above simplifies nicely, giving us a product of 32. So whichever method we use, we should come up with D32.